Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. That music can mean only one thing. We exited the video last time on a huge cliffhanger. And welcome back, everybody! Then I would like to resume our trial. Thank you, Judge, for that wonderful transition. Judge! Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then, though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? No, Your Honor. Von Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Really? Very well. I would find that hard to predict. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Well, I mean, Von Karma is obviously well prepared. He retrained the parrot. <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> if that's not like paranoid, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's his, like, life slash job, though. Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Please. Please. Witness testimony, the DL6 incident. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Where'd the gun come from? It could have been Yogi's, or it could have been evidence for the but trial. But he's like, a gun just fell before me. And you're like, oh. Well, that's when Yogi started arguing with Edgeworth. It could have been like it fell out of his pocket as he got more agitated. Hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream? We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The same claim Mr. Yogi has made! Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Well, we might as well press everything, as we always do, right? <laughs> what was the trial your father was involved in on that day? I don't remember things very clearly. Only two things. I know my father lost, and Mr. Von Karma was the prosecuting attorney. Obviously he lost, then. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, you were handling that case? It was 15 years ago. I don't remember the details. Yeah, right. That was when Edgeworth pointed out the problem in Von Karma's evidence. <laughs> Convenient you forgot, Von Karma. Oh, that was the one I forged evidence and got called out for. <laughs> so there were three people, including yourself, trapped in that elevator? Yes. Myself, my father, and Yanni Yogi. We were fine at first. But then as time passed and no one came to help, my father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. What did you do then? I was a nine-year-old boy at the time. What could I do? I was scared, trembling in the corner. But then... Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. What was it? A pistol. I assume it was the bailiff Yanni Yogi's. The safety must have come off when it fell from his holster. And you picked it up. What happened next? I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous. But the air was getting so thick, I panicked. So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? I was in a daze. A moment later, there was a single gunshot and a scream. The gun fired once? Yes. 
I think after I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, they have echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and that hor horrible scream. The scream. It was a terrible scream I remember to this day. To this day? Yes, I can practically hear it now. I doubt I will ever forget that scream as long as I live. There it is. One part of that testimony clearly contradicts the evidence. But I don't know what it means. I better find out and quick. So have you noticed anything yet? Uh, let's... Take a look at the evidence. So, we got the DL6 bullet taken from Gregory Edger's heart. Still bears clear ballistic markings. The DL6 photo. We've seen that before a few times. Where's the Yogi? Case summary, so... It was depleted. Victim data. It was trapped in an elevator. One bullet wound found in the heart. Murder weapon fired twice. That's a problem. Yep. That's exactly it, then. You think that's it? I think so. so yeah. Yeah, single gunshot, yep. but fired twice, yep. just like this case. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? Yes, I'm sure of that. I heard the shot and the scream, then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. But that doesn't make sense! Look at this file one more time. The, this plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that file, <laughs> don't you? I won't accept this evidence unless you can tell me what page it's on! <laughs> Which page contradicts Miles Edgeworth's testimony? <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong, just... Looks like your luck has run out. Mr. Wright, I didn't even need to look at that page. Aw, oh, man. W wait! There is a contradiction in the file! Then show us the right page! Even my grandchild could do better than you! Ouch! <laughs> Maybe he just has a really smart granddaughter. I don't know. Look at the victim data in this file. It says it quite plainly. The murder weapon was fired twice. How do they know that a gun was fired more than once? I'm actually not sure. I don't know how they... Like, I mean, you could look at them. the number of bullets missing from the clip. Sure. But, but that, doesn't that doesn't mean a thing. Anything. I don't know. I don't know. Someone, I don't know. someone who's a forensic expert, tell us in the comments. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. Yet, the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Hmm... Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? I wonder, what if Edgeworth shot Yogi in, like, the brain? Or something, like, something near there. And he was like, ah, And then picked it up and shot him. Not, not Edgeworth, the other Edgeworth. But Yogi already said it wasn't him. And he doesn't have brain damage, he was just faking that. He had something on him that was, like, covered up. Like, either on his face. I think those were just his reading glasses. Maybe. But I thought there was sort of like how Gumshoe has like the weird patch on his face. Okay, well, that's a possibility, I suppose. Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. I wonder. What? Hmm, I see, I see. What are you thinking? What if it was fired in court during... <laughs> no, during the court thing between Von Karma and... Von Karma says, as you can see, this is the pistol. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Whoops. No, no. <laughs> and that's why saying, he got the penalty. No, no, but I'm saying, like, he got a penalty for, like, faulty evidence. Maybe he got, like, really mad and, like, raged and tried to shoot. And then they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going to anger management. Uh, can I go to the spa instead to calm down? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> ah, mud scrub. <laughs> Wait, mud scrub? That's not a thing. <laughs> I thought it was mud tub and then salt scrub. Maybe there is a mud scrub. I if don't there's know. mud scrub, let us know in the comments. I don't if know. I've never been to expert. a real spot. <laughs> hmm, I see. I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. 
One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? Yes or no? Um, uh, I mean, not off the top of my head, but yeah. No, then. Ah, I didn't think of that. I, uh, don't have proof. Ha! As I suspected! Hmm. Given that all this happened 15 years ago, it's doubtful any proof remains. Nick! Take a close look at this! The court record? Look! Doesn't this make you think... Wh whoa She's right! That is strange! Oh. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. Really? Wh what Impossible! Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. <laughs> what? Bless you, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. That was Maya, actually. <laughs> Do you have evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to the incident? Let's take a look. Oh, oh. Whoops, my finger slipped. Not. Mr. Wright, please, think how we feel having to look at this evidence time and time again. Every time you show us ridiculous evidence, I feel, well, mocked. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really don't mean any harm by it, Your Honor. Not meaning any harm, and not doing any harm are two different things, Mr. Wright. Try again, Mr. Wright! Do you have evidence? Oh, oops. Alright. Alright. Let's take a look at everything. Well, it's probably gonna be on the DL6 evidence over here. Maybe. There's one in Edgeworth's heart. Yes. So that means, so, uh, there was the first bullet that went through his heart. I'm looking every- Oh! Did he shoot the window? That's- That's possible! <laughs> Maybe he shot the window and he was like, Ah! Let me get out of here! Let's try it. Look at this photograph. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime, 15 years ago. I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So, let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? Y your Honor, please, please get a clue. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. He was wearing glasses! Andrew's father doesn't need glasses! <laughs> well, I think it's here! Mr. Wright, yes. Your eyes have a habit of shifting back and forth when you're uncertain. Try taking a deep breath and think this over once more. R right, Your Honor. Wow. No penalty, because our penalty meter wasn't shown. I was right? Dang. It should be obvious. The contradiction is here. Yeah, you noticed this, like, right away, pretty much. Sweet. I see. A bullet hole in the door. Your Honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. Yet, there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot. Oh, so probably Yanio who's like, Oh gosh, I gotta get out of here. Let's blast open the door. <sighs> and then it didn't work. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the first shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. M Mr. Wright! But who could that have someone else be? The murderer, of course. I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Now it's my turn to bring it out. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary? That's on page one. Look what it is written here. Not a single clue was found on the scene. If the pistol had indeed been fired two times, then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. He does have a point. That second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The we whole truth. The bullet we have. It was undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the door. Well, the bullet that we have was the one that got sh that shot into Edgeworth's heart. But we have a different bullet. No, that's the bullet. That's we have two bullets. 
The other one is from the lake case. Okay, well... Order! I will have order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly, that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. So all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Wow, <laughs> wow Von Karma. Way to kiss up. Gah! How did this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Why are you raising an objection? I'm sorry, Maya. What? I... It looks like I was wrong. Nick? If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No. You said you'd do it, Nick! You said you'd get Net Edgeworth declared innocent! I'm sorry. It's just, when I saw that photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person, someone else who fired the killing shot. But now, I was wrong to think that it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Nick. Well, no, it's... Let's... Jack! Well, it seems we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. You know who probably has the bullet? That freaking idiot! <laughs> he did steal a lot of evidence. He stole a lot of evidence. He was there. There's a, you think an earthquake happened and the dude wasn't there? He would be like, oh, whoops, uh, there's an earthquake. He was totally st at the spa. <laughs> no. There was a case going on. They were going home. Then he's like, oh, oh, no, earthquake. And then he uh, well, like, hit something. Well, probably... Like, Edgeworth, his son, and Yanni Yogi got in the elevator while Von Karma was getting his his throat ripped out by the uh, person giving him his penalty. Okay, but that means, <laughs> how was he alive? Because didn't, like, part of the building came in? Only part of it. He didn't say it was his. Okay, well. I don't know. Precisely. I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Obviously, Your Honor, it's my trial. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. Wow. So you killed your father, although that was not your intention? Yes, I did. Oh no. He's confessing. Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now! Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? Yes. I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There are so many things I know I should be saying, but my mind's gone blank. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright, no objections. I have an objection. I have an objection. Every lead I thought I had has been squashed. This is really the end. Edgeworth, I'm sorry. Obviously I have an objection. Your Honor, I I object. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object? Hmm. Ugh. Nick. I, I don't know. His case is perfect. Oh no. Ah! It must exist. The second bullet. What? What, what did you just say? N nothing. The second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce us really any creepy. answers from Mr. Wright. Holy cow! There's just like black blah, Look at me! Blah, look at me! Oh man. Wait, Your Honor! Hmm? I uh the the second bullet! It uh it exists! What? But we've just heard proof that it did not exist. Uh I realized that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. Has uh, Maya already D whatever? <laughs> um What? You know how she was shocking people? Oh, she's um D oh. That's what I was de saying. Zapped or, or de zapped or whatever. Discharged. Discharged, de yeah. yeah. I was like, if she's still yeah. charged up, he, she could be like, look at me! I got electrocuted yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's it. It, it's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? 
The, the, the murderer! No. You! The murderer? Then tell us just who is this murderer. I'm still thinking about that one. <laughs> hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet? Why would he? Huh? First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? The murderer had to find it. The murderer didn't need it. But, okay, well, let's think about this. If they're like, oh, it's just one bullet, then it would have- it would look more like the son killed him. Okay, so it you- would more- it would look more like he didn't kill him, I think. I think he'd have to find So him. you think that they shot through the window, Von Karma just sees the bullet and is like, I'll take that. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. He didn't know that there was a murder going on there. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for that straight bullet? I haven't got a clue! What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Ugh! Had to take it. Had to take it? The murderer? What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Why Mr. does that keep happening? Mr. Wright, right? because... It's creeping me out, though. It's, because Maya's not actually channeling her. This is just Phoenix. Like, Phoenix's mind, like... He's like, what would Mia say? Oh. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, you, Mia taking yes, your over honor. his brain. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh-oh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take that bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well... <laughs> uh, of course there was a need. That's why he took it. Bah! What possible reason could he have had? W well, the reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene with him is the bullet would be proof the murderer was cautious. Bullet would be proof? I don't know. Uh, maybe he thought that the bullet would be used as proof? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Uh, well, the murderer was a very cautious sort, you see. That's why the murderer had to search for that bullet. If that was the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well. Huh? Why would he only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, I'm right. reach into someone's heart. Mr. Wright, have you really thought this through? I'm going to have to penalize you. Ah, this isn't going so well. Alright. Um, maybe he uh, thought that the bullet would be used as proof? Proof? It was a special bullet, so he took it with him! <laughs> wow. If that was the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well! Oh, neither would have worked. Huh? Why would he only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, right. Mr. Wright, have you really thought this through? I'm going to have to penalize him. What?! So we have a shot- Ah, this isn't going so well. Oh, wait. So I, I totally to forgot, yeah. Ugh. Dang it. I haven't got a clue! That makes sense, though, because Mia's yeah. thing didn't re-show up. I thought that was just her giving you a hint, actually. Whoops. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh-oh. thinking too much. <laughs> You're thinking too much. <laughs> That's definitely what she said. Mr. Wright? Y yes, Your Honor! I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh-oh, uh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take that bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance, for instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet uh hit the murderer. The bullet hit the murderer. Uh, just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. Y you know. You know? <laughs> He's lost it, but it's amazing. Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head, but what if that's actually what happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murder, the murderer himself was shot, and he left with the second bullet still inside, thus uh -huh. leaving only one bullet at the scene of the uh -huh. crime? Uh, yes, I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that! The other two people rescued from that elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both unharmed! So that would mean the murderer came from outside, yes. But oxygen deprivation. 
The two men hey, fight hey, inside the elevator. What if Von Karma was the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really hope so. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges, and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. I mean, that doesn't look like Von Karma. But they just have a general picture. The boy loses consciousness. Then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men inside. That would make sense, too, because by once you're unconscious, no one would be like, Oh, I guess I should check the elevator for people who are dead. Right. No one would ever hmm. do that. Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the incident was wounded! You know what? That would also- There was no murderer! That would also explain why Karma was like, Oh, yes, I will gladly teach this son of a guy that I murdered so he will be my wonderful apprentice. No, not really. Yes, it would! It would make so much sense because then he's like, Okay, then I can train his son who is living to be like me. So that way- Like ultimate revenge or something? Sure, but like- <laughs> Edgeworth constantly blames himself for it, you know? Like, he can't right. move on from this. He can't date any girls. <laughs> he can't have a good job. He's just, like, depressed on Christmas Eve, and he <laughs> wants to have a good night and party with the I Gordy. don't think like, that's true. <laughs> okay, but let's Also, let's I, I, it's never outright stated, but it's heavily implied that Edgeworth is asexual. Like, he doesn't have romantic feelings for anyone. Oh, well, maybe that's because of this. <laughs> Maybe it is! Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate Von Karma's stink face right here? Oh, I hate <laughs> There face. was no murder! <laughs> hmm. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick. Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. Crazy? I love crazy. <laughs> Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? I mean, I didn't- I don't- I wouldn't date crazy, but... <laughs> I'm gonna have that frozen song stuck in my head now. Gregory Edgeworth dealt the blow to his perfect trial record. Wow! It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Yeah, because yes, he's an unusual event for the avoiding man. Avoiding the murder. <laughs> that was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock, but, but took, took it because, because he was injured? Which would mean... It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. See? See? <laughs> this is what I thought! He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was... <laughs> it was Von Karma! Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, Something man. wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Uh, n no, Your Honor. Well, you have indicated the possibility that the murderer came from the outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Should I come out and say it now? Say it now or save it for a better time. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I mean, if we do it now, it's gonna- Von Karma's gonna be like, are you kidding me? He's gonna probably tase us, tase us again, so. <laughs> you can't tase someone in the middle of court! There's all these people He's there! He's got his- <laughs> That's true. Wait, I don't have enough proof yet. Sort of like how the mafia- This is my trump card. Something. I'd better save it for the right time. Mr. Wright, something the matter? Uh, I'm fine, Your Honor. Shall we carry on with the trial, then, hmm? That said, we have no farther to go. All that is left is the finish. In other words, the verdict. Yeah. W what? Not yet. Think, Mr. Wright. You have said that someone from the outside was the murderer. Yet you cannot suggest anyone as a possible suspect. Which means your conjecture is worthless. And will be rejected, of course. Nick! Now is no time to be holding on to that trump cord. Cord? The Why trump cord. The trump cord. Hey, hey, big bug bunny, I got the trump cord. <laughs> <laughs> the trial's almost over. Uh, all right, I may not know what I'm doing, but here goes. All right. Say it now. Your Honor, there is a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? The, 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 my hands are shaking. The, what? Von Karma! Von Karma? 
He smiles just like. <laughs> You mean THE Von Karma? The prosecutor? Sitting right there? Bah! You... don't object? Hmm. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? <laughs> So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Fascinating! Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no. Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Florida! Bring the doctor that <laughs> operated on me! Have him testify! Uh. Nick! Let's find out who his doctor is! It's no use. Uh, Edgeworth? I know Von Karma. Perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Gah! Nobody's that perfect! So... so what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane! No, he couldn't have! You can't just pull bullets out of yourself! I mean, if it was in the shoulder, though... Wait... What does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere, but where? I'd like to have Karma go under surgery to well, find a Mr. bullet Wright, in his body. Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? It's impossible to prove or show evidence. Uh, I mean, you know I'm going to pick the dumb one uh, anyway, so... It would be impossible to find the doctor who operated on Von Karma now, even if Von Karma did undergo surgery. Hm, it seems you have finally come to your senses. You've realized the truth. You can't prove something that didn't happen. No dying, uh. Karma. <laughs> wow, Marty! Jeez! Hey, he, he's like... He is a terrible scumbag of a man, but I mean... Would you really wish death on him? I mean, he wished death on other people. Nick! The court record. There must be something. The court record? What could be in there? God, there's no time! I better think on it as I go. This is a terrible strategy for people who are lawyers. Yeah. Alright, Von Karma. I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. W what? The evidence that proves Von Karma was shot is. Do you have any clue? This was Let's the. Let's go this was... through everything except for the attorney's badge because we don't <laughs> know how that, that went. Okay, I just want to look at everything. And then oh, okay. See. No. This was, I think, the hardest thing for me to present. Okay, I had no clue. That's fine. I want to see this. You might. F a lot of people figured it out way easier than I did. Like, okay. this was one thing I didn't figure it out. I literally just presented an evidence randomly and told something. What if he's it. Exhibit B? <laughs> that would be the most. Brutal. No, we already knew Red White was Exhibit B. We oh, got that in Turnabout's okay. history. Still bullet. Go back. What if that was found in his body? This was found in Robert Hammond's body. Never mind. <laughs> different, different bullet. Go back. Okay. Oh, are you talking about the. The other one. Oh. That he had. Oh. That was, like, in a bag. Yeah, that's from Gregory Edgar's heart. Okay, well, maybe they're lying. <laughs> Is that what you're going with? No. That Von Karma forged that? Like, you know, yeah, be. this was from Gregory Edgar's heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> Otherwise... I mean, he is a... He is a very influential prosecutor. What the slowdown? Oh, man. Doom, doom, boom, doom, 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 boom. Yeah, I don't know why it slowed down. It slows down. Mm. Wow! <laughs> okay, case file. The case file, you Let's think? Let's go for it. Nope. Yeah. That's it. Ugh. So is your best bet the DL6 bullet, then? Yeah. What exactly is that? Uh, sorry. Judge, if you would. Right, penalty! That's it? I'm really not sure how I managed to make it this far. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please reconsider your evidence. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, do you have no clue then? I want to find this out. You do? Okay. Yeah, uh, look. The autopsy report? That's Hammond's oh, autopsy yeah. report. Um, my second best at. Look at the. Me Wait, go back to the, bolt, the pistol. So that's the pistol from the late yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, no. 
Uh, what about the metal detector? No. Honestly, my second thing is Misty Face photo. Really? Okay. That's well. Do you have a reason why? Uh, examine it again. Um. Um. No. But I can't think of much else other than like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Blah. Yeah. Another panel. Penalty number twelve. <laughs> This sounds- this is hard, so that's fine. Yeah. Do you Evidence want... that proves he shot. That he shot, or that he was shot? It, the lake photo. Was. You think it's this? Hold on, let's check the lake photo. So that's Yanni Yogi on the right, and Edgeworth on the left. Oh. I don't- uh, we don't have the letter, which is stupid. Nope, Von Karma took it and probably burned it. <laughs> Uh, he likes it lit. The parents? The photo? I don't bom, know. Bom, 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 I bom. Don't Do you know. give up then? Wait, photo again. Photo again. Human again. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking at any of you like insanely close. Why does it look like he has three wounds? Blood spatter, that's Oh, why. okay. His hands opened. His mouth like, blah. Um, Poor guy. Yeah, no kidding. I, I don't. I feel so okay. mad that I don't, because I really wanted to figure that one out. Don't worry. Like I said, this is one of the hardest evidence things to present. Alright, I could I make a suggestion? Could you please look away while I present the right one? What? <laughs> Why? Uh, you don't have to, I just... No, it's, it's well, fine. What's, you your, what's your reason? Well, well, it, my reason basically is it might make it a little more epic when it's revealed what it was, but I don't know. You can. It doesn't. Never mind. We'll just do it. You want to know what it is? Sure. <laughs> it's the metal Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery <laughs> leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. You... You don't mean! I do. There is the possibility that bullet is still inside Von Karma. I should have done that! <laughs> Dang it! Th I was briefly considered. I'm like, the metal Is that even there. possible for all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. Sure. I refuse! <laughs> that is so satisfying. Oh, Finally see him sweat. I thought he was crying. You, you refuse? But refusing this means... You acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you? He's like, order! He's order! Like, order! I just had enough... I had so many iron supplements. <laughs> <that he's laughs> Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. This is a trial. Everything this statute of limitations runs out on this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Enough! I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. We're gonna have missile do stuff. This is why we didn't want missile. I have piercings. Come on! <laughs> he reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Mr. Von Karma. You. It was you. I was afraid this would happen, and so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. Uh, uh... But, but, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It is you who must prove something here, Mr. Wright. Not I. M Mr. Wright, 
Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course you can't! You don't have any of the DL6 evidence! That's because you took it out of the records from yesterday! <laughs> you should say that. <laughs> With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You were so close. One day away from freedom. You see, I have proof. W what? Who would have thought you would have dug at your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here's my final proof. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Um, Hang on, I, I need to turn on the light. I can barely see my eyes. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. <laughs> can we just take, like, a few minutes to just appreciate Grand Von Karma's sweating animation? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> so satisfying. Uh, well, okay, what is up with my game's massive slowdown? This is running at, like, a quarter of the speed of the light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I mean, <laughs> I have to. N Nick? Um. <laughs> uh, um, if this is your final proof, don't you think you should have chosen it a little better? Huh? You mean that was the wrong evidence? Everyone looks kind of puzzled. Mr. Wright! <laughs> Uh-oh, he's really mad. <laughs> I think you better take out the right evidence, quick! R right. You got lucky, Von Karma, but this <laughs> next one is the real evidence, okay? <laughs> uh, um. They're like the fingerprints of a gun. <laughs> with the pistol. With the. Candlestick in the conservatory. Yeah. That, it was Mr. Green the whole time. That would have been ridiculous. It was I actually the parrot. I don't know. Oh, you don't? I, uh... It's the bullet. This is the. This was shot from the gun at the DL6 incident. And it has ballistic markings, which means the bullet in Von Karma's shoulders, the ballistic markings should match this one. Oh. Okay. The, that's a bullet. Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident, because he, he thought he stole this, but Maya grabbed it at the last second. Oh. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings. For people like Marty who forgot, don't worry, we'll recap. You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Why are you getting all high pitched all of a sudden? Because that's my forget forgotful voice. Since when? Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. Okay, I forgot. Great. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? So satisfied. That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet! You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air! I'll, I'll stop you! STOP BREATHING MY AIR! Get away. Get away from my father!
It's that scream I heard in the elevator 15 years ago. Von Karma, it was you who screamed! Well, I mean, I would trust him. Mr. Von Karma? Edgeworth! Edgeworth! Only you would dare defy me! So, it was you! You and your father on my curse! <laughs> your father shaved me with a penalty on my record! That's it? And you... You left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade! I, I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! I'm so happy. That is the most satis- one of the most satisfying breakdowns ever, 15 years earlier. Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. What the heck? <laughs> There's a reason for that voice. Okay, you sounded like Snake. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. Or was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth! <laughs> it was a shock like none I'd ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out in the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, and nothing happened. Then, there was a noise! I was in pain! A horrible burning pain in my shoulder! Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then, it was destiny. Wow. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled! It was the perfect crime! Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job! Bring an end to this miserable charade! Now! End it! V very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor? You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I guess he's coming back in the list of the games. <laughs> this court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Not guilty! Von Karma's head slamming against the wall is one of the most satisfying most things ever. Thing. That is all. The court is adjourned. Uh, you are not arresting him? Or oh, he is! Oh, okay. he is! <laughs> December 28th, 5.38 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. two. Nick! Nick! We did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual! He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick! Crushed! Gotta say, I'm impressed! <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. I know. I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right? Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this. I know! I know! Try! Thank you! I see. Th thank you, Wright. Y you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have done better than that. Ugh, s sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. Man. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth! Dear, dear. Whoop! <laughs> Amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would! I'll never forget this! I owe you one, pal! 
And tonight, let's party! Dinner's on me! Woo! Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Mr. Edgeworth? You should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Hmm. Uh, I see. <coughs> Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel foolish. <laughs> Don't worry. Take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Lana! Y'all were great in there! Thank you! Yo, Edgeworth! Congrats! Uh, thank y'all very much. <laughs> I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you! You wouldn't have stuck your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there! You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, huh? Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lada? Who, me? Aw, oh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Huh? It's over, Nick! My life is over! <laughs> well, why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick, I'm not long for this world. Uh, you don't look sick. It's Keonce! She's going to live in Paris! Paris, Nick! She's leaving me behind! <laughs> Larry, Larry... Yo, Edgy! There you are! Um, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy! Here, a little gift for me in celebration! What? Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts! You've come along tonight, too! My treat, pal! Huh? Uh, thanks! Looking forward to it! Yo, yo, Nick! That's the suit that questioned me! When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me, it's got money in it. Oh, This is so sweet! Yeah, well, that's not strange. People give no, money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? <laughs> huh. What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Thirty-eight dollars, exactly. N nick Wasn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? Thirty-eight dollars? No. No! Larry, it was you! <laughs> what are you supposed so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What?! Think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. <laughs> I never was good at history. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know! Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. <laughs> well, this is sure is an un unexpected turn of events, huh? <laughs> Edgeworth. Hmm? You should have told me! Now, now, Nick. It was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it! <sighs> Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did! Well, I'd call you a goody two-shoes to the extreme. Yeah, you get worked up too easily, too. D death The death sentence for both of you! <laughs> Man, if only I'd known, I'd have become a prosecutor! Same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth. Want to switch right? Hey, y'all! Line up, I'll take a photo! Hey, photo time! Let's go! 
And after that, dinner on me! Maya sneezed to make the photo go. <laughs> that would be the best photo. Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. Oh man. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Yay! Although, Edgeworth was still in detention. Oh. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> Just a little bit. December 29th, 5.02 a.m. Right and coming. Whoa, Phoenix! You're going into work really early! <laughs> Ah. Whoa, I went a little overboard yesterday. What, is he drunk? My head hurts. Yeah. <laughs> huh? It's still only 5 o'clock. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Maybe he sleeps in his office? I don't know. Hmm? Some people do that. I mean, he didn't yeah. in the Steel Samurai case because Maya had to call him up. Yeah. Get well, no, that can happen, though, in Japan because, like, if you were out too late, like, all the trains okay. and stuff shut down and you're just forced to sleep Huh? Work. What's this? A letter? Good morning, Nick! I accidentally pushed the button. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium, in training of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth too. I wanted to help you, but I couldn't. It was useless. So I've decided to go back to my training. Gosh darn it, Maya. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium for starts. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Bye, Nick. G Goodbye? What time is it? Gah! The first trains for the mountains have already left! To the station! It's time for the awkward anime run, let's catch the girl before she goes back thing. <laughs> yep. I guess I'm too late. Hey! N Nick! Maya! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And... I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. Y you heard my sister? Yes. Only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I, I didn't do anything! All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. <laughs> oh my gosh. E evidence? Show Maya some evidence to cheer her up. Oh my <laughs> Check God. it out. Uh, well, what do you think we should do? We're doing the real one for sure, right? Yeah. I mean, I want to do the fake one because I've never seen that dialogue. But okay. we're definitely going to finish wanna... with the real one. Okay, we should either show the attorney's badge or we should show the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? S sorry Nick. I guess I don't understand. Oh! Now that I think about it, I don't understand the evidence either! It's okay. You don't have to try and cheer me up. But... One day, I'll come back and be useful, I promise! Okay. Do you not know what the real one is? The mother? It's actually not the mother. Cause she's no longer... No, it's we're problem. trying to prove that She's Maya no helped us out. Oh, why'd she help us out? Uh, the bullet that she stole? Yep. A bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all of the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back! Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will! You can't run the office by yourself! You're hopeless! Uh, I don't know about that. So, bye. Bye. You. Maya, you better come back! Thanks, Nick. 
I like those big uh, photos we get. Yeah. Those are nice. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. But it's not ended yet! And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. HA! Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur! Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Uh, yes, your honor. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. OBJECTION! That's awesome. And that is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. At least. Oh, we gotta look for it in the credits. Oh, um, and all the characters talk in the credits. We get to see them all. Hey, pal! Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a Happy New Year! Talk about a pleasant surprise! Room! Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> then he hung his head low and went right back to outside. That's amazing. Kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? No, but the thing, the thing from, uh, the dude was like, Dude, mistakes! He said, like, something about the credits, didn't he? Read the film credits. Yeah, read the film that credits. Was, that was the film credits of Steel Samurai, though, um. not this. Huh? Nick? Nah, haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working at his cheese shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you'd call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now. Yeah. I, I think I accidentally said he worked as a cheese shop. <laughs> I think you might have. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, you do this. Who? Right? Yes, I remember him. I heard he's busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. <laughs> that, that was, was terrible. terrible. <gasps> I I'm was like, sure ready, your honor. <laughs> OBJECTION! I had the wrong voice. <laughs> That's it okay. was too quick. Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management at the Gatewater Hotel recently. Yeah. Should you be in the area, please stop by. Did we get to hear from everyone we arrested? I don't think so, no. Dang it! The murderers, and I think their accomplices, we do not hear from. So I don't think we hear from some, no, or April, May. Sorry. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, too. Phoenix Wright? Ah, yes, Mia's understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. Haven't seen him of late. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. So this marks the end of where the original Japanese Game Boy Advance game goes. But we still have the bonus case, which is amazing. And long. Phoenix Wright? He yeah, an actor. Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they're finally putting some of High Hammer's old movies on a DVD? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The DVD is so amazing. Oh, how did he even get to Starlight anyhow? That's where editing comes in handy. Yep. <laughs> Yay! I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, and I'm keeping my face out of the public eye till the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kid's dreams, you know? Good job, man. He's such a great guy. One of my favorites. Actually, not really. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but didn't have the time, so I sent her some pink princess trading cards. She said she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at, anyway? <laughs> Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Looks like Maya and Penny are friends. Yeah. What about Cody? Hey, everybody, oh, we're definitely like hearing from Brooklyn. Cody. Do you want to do it or should I? I'm doing it. Ah. Right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk Pink Princess. All right. But, you know, I snuck into the studio the other day, and I saw her, the one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It was kind of a shock for a boy my tender age. <laughs> That's rude, Cody. I know you're only in second grade, but you, you can learn some manners. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I remember right. That lawyer guy. Huh? Me? I've been training to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them there's a ghost. For real. Now that's talent. I'm gonna be famous. Oh boy, a lot of paranormal photography. I want to see a picture of all of them. <laughs> with Maya sneezing. 
It's not my seat. It's, she wasn't using her back camera. She was using a different one. I don't know about that. And hey, you got your wish. Look at the ghost behind them. Oh! This is so awesome! Oh yeah, and the confetti that flies for every not guilty verdict. It's gumshoe throwing the confetti. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Capcom. A brand new episode has been added. Rise from the ashes. Mia's like, I have resurrected from the dead! I think I, it, I think it's technically supposed to be Rise of the Phoenix, which makes more sense. Oh. Because it's basically like, Phoenix, he has to do it all on his own now. Oh. So this case, this is the one that was only added in the DS version. It was not in the original Game Boy release for Japan. So, as such... It's gonna be quite a bit different. Like, some parts are 3D. Like, it sounds weird, but it fits well with the actual style. Okay. Like, it's it still looks and plays exactly the same as the old that one. That makes sense. But, like, there are a few things, like, there are, like, not quite 3D cutscenes, but you'll you'll see. Okay. And there's also, like, more cool animations the characters All have. Right. And right. also, it makes use of the touchscreen and the microphone. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. Okay. No, I, was, also- I saw the title, though, and I was like... Is someone going to be alive again? Is it like, I live! Like, from Mulan. Well, <laughs> the great Star Wars <laughs> <Dragon. laughs> Yeah, this is also the only Phoenix Wright case in the entire franchise that does not have the word turnabout in it, which is kind of interesting. Mm. It's also, while it's, uh, while it's a controversial case, this is my favorite case out of the entire game. So, oh. like, yes, I like it more than the fourth case. I think... Everything ties together in this case better than in the fourth case. Anyways, really look forward to that. That's going to be Wait, awesome. Wait, can we see the picture? No. Anyhow. No, no have the picture you... for the one before it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little bit of a spoiler there that Val uh, Karma is the bad yeah. guy. Yeah. I love Polly. That's cool. <laughs> and you're like, duh, why is this Lotus, happening? Lotus entire face is taken up. Yes, sorry. Yeah, that, that would be a good thing that I didn't see that. Yeah, anyhow. Oh, also, Rise from the Ashes is the only one that does not get a poster at the end of it when you beat it. It's always what? just like this. That's stupid. Anyhow, that's going to be an awesome case. It's also going to be a very long case. I think it's the longest in the franchise. So, look forward to that. Until next time, I'm Artie. And I'm Marty. We really hope to see you for our next case. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.